We have a couple showings. We're going to take a quick look above the showings up in the forest here, see if we can find anything. On the way back down, we'll uh, just quickly show the showings. Just at the edge of a quarry here, and down there where the two rock types meet, where there used to be a showing of sulfides, and it's no longer accessible because they blasted this out and covered it up. But you can find samples here with pyrite and minor amounts of calcopyrite. So this is just a grab sample from the quarry that I found. We're about to head in here. We got float quartz here. Quite a bit of oxidization and deterioration on the, the quartz and uh, a little bit of sulfides there. Little bits of sulfides through a lot of the host rock here. I'm seeing just mostly iron pyrite. I'm seeing calcopyrite. Found some grab samples here on the side of the road or side of the forest. Got more pyrite and calcopyrite. We found this old washout creek. It's not flowing now, but it at one point was and we have sulfides in very deteriorated quartz and I think there's a bit of magnetite here. You can see the black. Nice sample to take. Another float sample here. Pretty intense pyrotization. There's just hordes and hordes of these everywhere. We have yet to find one outcrop though up here. Just tons of float samples. And they're all mineralized. Not five feet away from that last sample. We found a piece right here, slightly sticking out, which was oxidized. And look at the mineralization. This has got to be at least... 50% plus sulfides in the rock. More like 60-70% is just a hunk of metal. That is interesting. Close to something. We're taking this sample with us. More pyrotized samples here. Right beside that other one. And we think we found some uh, subcrop here. Slightly exposed. We're finding mineralization on that. We're going to take a look around. There's not a lot exposed, but uh, we'll see what we can find. If not, we'll GPS this area. Our first piece of bedrock here, exposed a little bit of it, and we're seeing some quartz kind of interwoven with uh, tophaceous rock. There is uh, some oxidization on it and there is disseminated iron pyrite throughout some of it, but uh, not all of it. A little bit more oxidized outcrop here. This is uh, volcanic tuff. And we are 
right above the road now and right above one of the showings so it's quite a bit of cover soil and overburden but lots of oxidized rocks with tiny bits of disseminated pyrite here you got more oxidization but again it doesn't look like the vein comes up in this direction or at least up the surface finding lots of oxidized float samples almost gossiness some magnetite here right there with a piece of quartz and up here have a little bit of an outcrop with some oxidization and a little bit of quartz on it but uh, minor amounts of magnetite and that's it we're back down on the road now we basically covered 500 meters to this way 500 that way and 500 meters up from the road so now we're going to go take a look at some of the road exposures just quickly you've guys seen them before in a previous video but I'll just kind of give you an idea of where we are. So just one of a few sulfide showings. Sulfide's running here. Disseminated sulfides through most of this rock here. Small sulfide vein there. And over here. And then all along here you can find disseminations of pyrite, calcopyrite throughout this whole rock. The quarry we were in initially is right on the other side of this and there's a contact where there was a sulfide vein before they backfilled it. And let's go take a look at the other ones. Right here you have a giant sulfide filled boulder. Disseminations of pyrite, calcopyrite throughout the whole thing. On either side where it's more oxidized, there and there, you have veins or places where it came into contact with veins. Right here, next showing, you have a couple sulfide veins along here. Some stringers through here, right there. And the bigger one is right here. You can see all the gray sulfides all throughout. Down below the road here, we got quite a bit of uh, garbage, as well as there's an old logging road that goes down there, runs across the whole thing here. We're going to eventually walk that. Not today though, it's already 6 o'clock, and it's dinner time, so that'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.